Yeah, you know, was following the SEC tournament, Dave Van Horn said he was pretty concerned about the Hogs' bats, and it was pretty easy to see why he was so worried. Over the final five games of the season coming into the Fayetteville Regional, Arkansas had a team batting average of 173. But thankfully, the bats came alive today, scoring 11 runs and racking in 13 hits as Arkansas took down Central Connecticut State. It's really good for our team to come out here. Uh, a lot of people were saying that we may have struggled when we went on the road The AM or SEC tournament but at the end of the day that's that's baseball for you your offense isn't going to be hot every game of the year every series it's going to come and go here and there but as you see we've stuck with it and we just keep our approaches and today it paid off and we put up runs like we have been most of the season that was that was really nice for all of us we showed signs of breaking out today we put together some good swings um I was just glad to see us drive in some runs because that would kind of been a little bit of an issue and that, uh, you know, to, to get to hit the ball hard. Now it was another solid outing for Connor Nolan on the bump, going five and one-thirds innings, tossing two strikeouts and only allowing one earned run. Now Dave Van Horn said after the game, the reason Connor Nolan didn't go much further into the game was because they want to save him for Monday in case Arkansas does have to play in that final game. And here's something else for you. The freshman has only allowed seven earned runs runs in his last eight outings. Started with uh, Connor coming out and just throwing a lot of strikes. I mean, he got through the first couple innings on probably less than 20 pitches, and uh, they hit a lot of ground balls. When he's getting ground balls, it means that two seamers sinking and running and uh, you know, he pitches the contact, and that's that's what he wanted. What, what he what we wanted him to do. I was just attacking the zone today. I mean, throwing strikes, filling it up, keeping him off balance with off speeds, and I mean that's just really been the key for me to have be have a successful outing. I mean, just keep him off balance and keep him guessing. So now the Razorbacks await the winner of TCU and Cal. That game will take place tomorrow night at six o'clock here at Baumwalker Stadium. Wes, I'm going to send it back to you to Little Rock, and you can give us an update on that game.